A dental microscope consists of following main components. A varioscope or objective lens, a microscope body with magnification changer, a binocular tube head and two eyepieces. The varioscope or objective lens projects the image of the object into the microscope. Inside the microscope body, the magnification changer magnifies the image by a given factor. The binocular tube focuses the image information into the intermediate image plane. The two eyepieces magnify the intermediate image and project it onto the exit pupil. The eye lens receives the image and focuses it onto your retina. One of the first steps of setting up a dental microscope is bringing the device into parfocality. That means achieving the same focal plane on the video monitor and in both eyepieces at the same time and at all magnification factors without refocusing. Please follow the next steps to achieve parfocality. Adjust the eye cups in such a way that the entire field of view can be seen and no black borders are visible. If you are wearing eyeglasses, the eye cups must be screwed all the way in so that no silver rings are visible. If you are not wearing eyeglasses, unscrew the eye cups and adjust them for your field of view. For most observers, this will be when two to three silver rings are visible. Please note that we recommend you always wear your eyeglasses or contact lenses. If you wear the eyeglasses with a vision correction, set the diopter ring to zero diopters. Use the knob on the binocular tube to adjust the distance of the eyepieces to your interpupillary distance so that the two eyepiece images merge into one. Adjust the eyepieces from the widest distance apart to a smaller distance. To reach parfocality, set the dental microscope to the lowest magnification to get an overview of the region of interest. Select the magnification factor 0.4 on the magnification changer. Use the varioscope to focus the image. Turn it until the image in the eyepieces is focused. Set the highest magnification by selecting the magnification factor 2.5 on the magnification changer and focus the image. In order to adjust the diopter on the eyepieces, we need to determine your dominant eye first. You can do so by following these steps. 1. Extend your arms out in front of you and create a triangular opening between your thumbs and forefingers by placing your hands together at a 45 degree angle. 2. With both eyes open, center this triangular opening on a distant object, such as a wall clock or doorknob. 3. Close your left eye. 4. If the object stays centered, your right eye is your dominant eye. If the object is no longer framed by your hands, your left eye is your dominant eye. Focus on the object with your dominant eye using the varioscope. Keep your non-dominant eye closed. After you have set your dominant eye, you must now adjust your non-dominant eye. Rotate the diopter ring of the eyepiece clockwise from plus 5 until the object is in focus. You can now select the magnification required from a magnification factor of 0.4 to a factor of 2.5. The focal plane will now be retained and the image will stay in focus regardless of the magnification. If you are using an eyepiece with a reticle, please firstly follow the previous steps 1 to 5 and continue with the following steps. The eyepiece with the reticle must be assigned to your dominant eye. Slowly turn the diopter ring of that eyepiece clockwise from plus 5 until the reticle is in focus. Then focus the dental microscope on the object with the varioscope. The reticle and the object must be in focus at the same time. Next, please adjust the diopter of the eyepiece without a reticle. If an external video monitor is connected to the microscope, you must first follow steps 1 to 4. Then, please continue the following procedure to achieve parfocality. In step 5, focus with the varioscope on the object on the external monitor at the highest magnification. 
Afterwards, adjust the diopters for your dominant and non-dominant eye by turning the individual diopter rings clockwise until the image of the object in the eyepieces is in focus. By following these steps, you will achieve the same focal plane on the video monitor and in both eyepieces at the same time and at all magnification factors without refocusing. Low magnification of approximately 1.4 to 8 times enlargement gives you good overview and good orientation of the region of interest. Middle magnification of approximately 8 to 16 times enlargement is used for most treatments. It gives you the best combination of orientation within the field of view, depth of field and recognition of fine details in the targeted area. High magnification of approximately 16 to 29 times enlargement is used for viewing fine details and for carrying out precise treatments. The total magnification of a dental microscope must be calculated with a formula shown and depends on various factors. The total magnification depends on the focal length of the objective lens, the factor on the magnification changer, the focal length of the binocular tube, and the magnification factor of eyepieces.